All right, welcome to Cooking with Chelsea. Today what I've got for you is going to be a collard green pesto. Um, so I've got all the ingredients laid out, but we've already gone ahead and chopped up the collard greens. So real quick, I just wanna show you kind of how you do that and then we'll get into the recipe. Um, so huge leaf, right? And you can see kind of back here, the stem um, goes through the middle. Uh, it's called a ribbing. And so we actually wanna cut that out because that's the bitter part. And so when you're preparing your collard greens, basically you just wanna make a V. You wanna start kind of at the top of the rib and then cut all the way down the side, go down, and then do the same thing to the other side. Okay, and then you should have this guy come out and this is trash, you do not wanna use it. It will not taste good if you do. So set these aside, cut up the rest of your collard greens. Um, you just wanna make, you know, maybe like a half an inch um, sections. We're going to be putting this in a food processor anyways, and so it doesn't really matter how finely you chop it. It's gonna get chopped up. Okay, I usually just take it and go the other way. Okay, and you see now we've got that chopped up. So let me go through the ingredients with you. Okay, our main ingredient, again, the collard greens right here, you're gonna do, sorry, I'm looking at my little cheat sheet here, three cups, okay? Um, so three cups that's chopped up. Uh, right here we have one cup of the olive oil, the Primal Kitchen olive oil. We may not need a cup, we're just gonna see on that. Um, and then these are toasted pecans, so we're gonna do a third a cup of those. This is Parmesan cheese. Uh, we're gonna do a half a cup, and you wanna do it freshly grated. Then we've got some salt, um, we've got some pepper, and then we have a lemon here that we're gonna use um, a little bit of the juice, maybe like a tablespoon or a little bit more, as well as the zest. Um, so that's our recipe. Oh, and then also in here, we've already added these. These are two garlic cloves, um, so you'll need those. If you don't have garlic cloves, they are best for this recipe, but you can use the minced garlic um, and just kind of put in the equivalent. It always says that on the outside of the container. Um, so first thing that we're gonna do, we're actually going to combine um, the nuts, put those in the food processor. Okay, gonna go ahead and put the Parmesan cheese, um, our garlic, And then we're gonna put about a fourth of a cup of the oil. We don't wanna put it all in yet because the oil is gonna determine the texture. Okay, about a fourth a cup there. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and zest that lemon and put the lemon juice in. So if you've never zested a lemon, basically you just need something that looks kind of like a small little cheese grater. They actually have zesters if you wanna use that, but you don't have to, you don't have to get super fancy. Um, wash your lemon, which we've already done, and then you just wanna kinda of move across it like this, um, and it's gonna create kind of a little powder of the outside of the lemon. And we're gonna do the whole thing, okay? So we're gonna zest this whole lemon and put that in just to give it a little bit of flavor. Okay, so here we go, we've got some there. And you just keep doing that for the whole lemon. One thing I didn't note, after you wash it, you'll wanna dry it um, because if it's wet, it's kinda hard to um, actually get the zest. Okay, so that's about how much. It's not much at all, but it's just enough to give it that flavor. All right, and then we wanna juice the lemon. Um, if there's any seeds, go ahead and try and take them out just because you don't want that to accidentally get into the pesto. I think we're good. All right, and just squeeze this directly in. I have some hidden seeds I'm gonna have to get out. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna do just a touch more of the lemon juice. Okay, so now we're going to blend that up real quick before we add in any of the greens. And this is our Ninja food processor. You can use whatever food processor you have. It does not have to be this brand. And we're gonna do the chop function. Okay, so we've got those first few ingredients blended up. So now we're just gonna add the collard greens about a handful at a time. 
-hmm. That way it makes it a little bit easier and we get good, um, we get it nice and chopped essentially. You don't want any chunks left in there. So one handful at a time. And then just keep doing that. Okay, and as you continue to add handfuls of the greens in there, you're gonna need a little bit of that olive oil to help it blend. Um, so just kind of add as needed. Don't add too much. <laughs> Start on the slow side because you don't want it to end up being like liquidy or runny. Um, but add a little bit as you go and then see what you need. You can always add more. Oh yeah, it's starting to look nice. Smells really good. <laughs> okay, and as you add it, if it's kind of getting up on the sides of the container and not going in very good, just kind of scrape the sides and then keep going. I'm gonna add a little more oil to mine. All right, when it is almost finished, um, so mine's pretty much done, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of the salt and pepper, uh, just about a quarter of a teaspoon of each, basically just to taste. Um, you may wanna add closer to a half a teaspoon of the salt, just depending on your preferences. Okay, and give it the final blend. Okay, so I've given it the final blend. I'm gonna take it out, show you guys what it looks like at the final stages. All right, so it smells delicious. It smells like mostly Parmesan cheese. <laughs> um, and then you've got that hint of the uh, toasted pecans in there as well. So very delicious. Um, and here we go. So this is a great sauce that you can use, I mean, really with anything. Um, so I think we're gonna maybe try and do soon a recipe um, with this on top of some chicken. Um, it's a great dip as well. Um, I mean, you can use it however you wish. <laughs> um, if you're making any kind of like a, a Mediterranean dish, this would go really well. So um, it would be a great like marinade or topping for some veggies. Okay. All right. So you've got a good amount of this pesto here, all right? And that's what it looks like. This is the consistency. So it's not super runny. That's what you're looking for. Um, and again, just kind of use that as a sauce to go with things, maybe a marinade. Um, and ultimately, if you want it to look different, so if you wanted to add the basil, that's pretty typical, you can do that. If you wanted to add different type of nuts, you could do that as well. We just kind of used what we had. Um, and then again, consistency wise, you can, you can use something different. You know, you can use a little bit more olive oil, a little bit less, a little more salt and pepper, things like that. Um, so let me, let me taste it real quick. It's kind of weird to taste it by itself, but I'm just gonna do a little bit. Tastes like pesto. Um, 
oh wow, it's actually really, really good. <laughs> you cannot taste collard greens, okay? So if you're not a greens person, this may be a really good way for you to get some in. Um, and then especially after surgery, since you don't have a whole lot of room for those like physical greens, like the big leaves and stuff like that for like a salad or a sauteed or anything like that, you may be able to just use this as a way to get in a little bit of extra fiber, a little bit of extra greens, those phytonutrients, everything. So enjoy, let us know what you think.